Hi, kids. I have something to show you. I have a trophy here. I'm sure many of you have been a part of a team, and maybe your team won a trophy like that, or maybe you won a ribbon like this, or maybe you got a medal, something like this. Have you ever gotten a medal? Well, did you know that our church, Parkway, has teams? We have teams for Bible quizzing. And Bible quizzing is a wonderful ministry where kids memorize scripture and get to answer questions and win prizes like those trophies and medals and ribbons. So I know that you're going to hear from a couple of our Bible quizzers in just a little bit. And they're going to be quoting some scriptures that they've been learning this year from the book of Psalms. But before you do, I have a challenge for you. So would you like to memorize some scripture and be entered into a, a drawing to win a prize of a gift card? So here's the challenge to memorize um, from Psalms chapter 23. So if you're in kindergarten or below, if you can memorize the first two verses of Psalm 23. If you're in first grade, if you can memorize the first three. If you're in second grade, the first four. If you're in third grade, the first five. And if you're in fourth or fifth grade, if you can memorize the whole chapter, which is six verses. And if you are above the age of Kids Parkway, you can participate too by memorizing Psalms 121, which is eight verses. Now, the deadline for this is April 19th, and what you need to do is memorize it in the King James Version or the Common English Version, and take a video recording and have uh, someone upload it to our social media on Parkway's um, social media through Facebook or Instagram, and use the hashtag ParkwayOC. Again, by April 19th is the deadline. And... Uh, the print there will be a printed copy of this chapter as well that will be uploaded to our church's website uh, under the devotions tab. So good luck! I know you can do My it. My name is Callie Antonis and I am part of the Junior Bible Quizzing Team. I am going to be quoting Psalms chapter 5 verse 1 through 12. Give ear to my words, O Lord, consider my meditation. Hearken unto the voice of my cry, my King and my God, for unto thee will I pray. My voice shalt thou hear in the morning, O Lord, in the morning will I direct my prayer unto thee, and will look up. For thou art not a God that hath pleasure in wickedness, neither shall evil dwell with thee. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight, thy head is all workers of iniquity. Thou shalt destroy them that speak, least in the Lord will pour the bloody and deceitful man. But as for me, I will come into thy house in the multitude of thy mercy, and in thy fear will I worship toward thy holy temple. Lead me, O Lord, in thy righteousness, because of mine enemies. Make thy way straight before my face. For there is no faithless in their mouth. Their inward part is very weakness. Their throat is an open sepulcher. They flatter with their tongue. Destroy thou them, O God. Let them fall by their own counsels. Cast them out in the multitude of their transgressions. For they have rebelled against thee. But let all those that put their trust in thee rejoice. Let them ever shout for joy because thou defendest them. Let them also that love thy name be joyful in thee. For thou, o Lord, wilt bless the righteous with favor, wilt thou compass them as with a shield. Have a great day. Bye. Psalms chapter 18, verses 30 through 50. As for God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler to all those that trust in him. But who is God, save the Lord? But who is a rock, save our God? It is God the bird of me of strength, and make a flyway perfect. He may give my feet like kind feet, and set up me upon my high places. He teaches my hands to war, so that a bow of steel is broken by my arms. Thou hast also given me the shield of thy salvation, and thy right hand hath folded me up, and thy gentleness hath made me great. Thou hast enlarged my steps under me, that my feet did not slip. I have pursued mine enemies, and overtaken them. Neither did I turn again, so they were consumed. I have wounded them, that they were not able to rise. They are fallen under my feet. For thou hast girded me with strength unto the battle. Thou hast subdued unto me those that rose up against me. Thou hast also given me the necks of mine enemies, that I might destroy them that hate me. They cried, but there was none to save them, even unto the war, but he answered them not. Then did I beat them small as the dust before the wind, I did cast them out as the dirt in the streets. Thou hast delivered me from the strivings of the people, and thou hast made me the head of the heathen, a people whom I have known shall serve me. As soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. The strangers shall submit themselves unto me. The strangers shall fade away and be afraid out of their close places. The Lord liveth and blessed be my wrath, and let the God of my salvation be exalted. It is God that revengeth me and subdueth the people unto me. 
He delivered me from mine enemies, yea, thou liftest me up above those who rise up against me, thou hast delivered me from the bond of man. Therefore will I give thanks unto thee, O Lord, among the heathen, and sing praises unto thy name. Great the weapon of the feet to his king, and showeth mercy to his anointed, to David, and to his seed forevermore.